I offer these every week, along with a short teaching. Just click the subscribe link below to be notified through YouTube when I post the recording of the latest one. Or if you'd like to join me live, which I'd really welcome, go down into the description section below and follow the link along to be able to sign up for free. So take a moment to settle in and let yourself arrive, land in your seat, in your body, in this time. Hmm. With your eyes open or closed, help yourself get stable. If you're sitting in a chair like I am, probably with your feet flat on the floor, your hands on your thighs or in your lap, upright. I like the phrase from Sokni Rinpoche, carefree dignity. And from Joseph Goldstein, relaxed but not casual. Our bodily posture um, affects how we meditate. A Zen saying for you, firm in, the bra in the, firm in the back and soft in the front. Since my topic tonight is about concentration, which involves real steadiness of mind, real stability of presence. Since that is our focus in the talk, I encourage you to establish that kind of stability in your meditation. Finding that nice middle place in which you are intent on remaining present. You are determined without being tense about it or hard on yourself. It can help to sort of give yourself over to the present. Let yourself abide in the present without leaning into the future. Receiving the present as it continually passes away.
Find something that you can stay in touch with that will anchor you in the present in a gentle, easeful way, such as the sensations of breathing. Or if you prefer uh, a saying, even simply a word, an image or a feeling. The breath is often recommended because it's neutral to pleasant for most of us. And it's always available, the sensations, even if they become quite soft. If you're using the breath to steady your mind and become increasingly concentrated in the present, you can be aware of the first sensations of an inhalation around your nose and upper lip. The air flowing back through your nose and down the airway into your chest. As you inhale, your chest expanding, your diaphragm dropping. And then the reverse as you exhale. And the air flows out. So I'll be quiet for a bit and I encourage you to Remain steadily present with some object of attention, such as breathing. And in contrast to that staying in touchness, you'll see your mind trying to drag you in one direction or another away from it. And see if you can let those uh, trains of thought and imagery, just let them go by while you stay present, increasingly absorbed in your object of attention. So let's try that for the next five minutes or so.
See if you can let everything fall away except the object of attention. It can help to be patient and perfectly fine with simply being in the present, even if it's not very interesting. And it can help also to have a sense of receiving experiences rather than going out to get them. Receiving the endlessly arising experiences of breathing. You can be aware of the breath in a particular location, like around your upper lip, or in your chest as a whole, or even your body as a whole as you breathe.
You might be aware of one or both of two factors supporting steadiness of mind, one being a kind of pulse or rising wave in the body that could be called joy or rapture or bliss, piti in Pali. You might also be aware of a sense of pleasure, enjoyment, happiness, contentment, a kind of sweetness in simply giving yourself over to breathing. Sukha in Pali. And you can, in, you can gently invite these qualities realistically, probably mainly sukha, even with the soft thought of may sukha arise, kind of a sweetness, peaceful happiness, woven together with the sensations of breathing, helping you become increasingly absorbed. May piti arise, pulses of joy, perhaps, No strain, no stress. If these don't come, no worries. It's something you might explore if you like as you stay in touch with breathing. If it happens for you, it's okay to let the happiness, the sukha, be big in your mind. Even the piti, the rapture or joy or bliss, be big in your mind. You can let them have you. You can let yourself be carried away by them.
even in this fairly brief meditation, as your mind steadies, as you apply and sustain your attention to the breath or some other anchor or object of attention, and as you experience some of the happiness of this, even perhaps with pulses of joy, as you stay with it, you may find a kind of coming together of all of these factors, the sense of really landing, plop, in the present with what's called singleness of mind, unification of consciousness, ekagata in Pali, kind of plop here, all of you, all of you present, absorbed in breathing, with some happiness and perhaps even joy mixed in. So I'll be quiet for the remainder of the meditation and you can encourage or open to or invite these qualities. Staying absorbed in breathing. May sukha arise, a sweetness, a happiness. May piti even arise, a kind of intensity of bliss or joy. May a kagata arise. All of you present, unified, single, continu continuously, now.
and in the last minute, let yourself relax and soften. You can relax the focused attention. Simply abide. Noticing what it's like to rest here. What is your consciousness like now? Thank <laughs> you.